Well, we start again, day number nine of the lambing vlogs. And as we did yesterday, we'll start off in the field, making sure everything is A-OK -okay and all the lambs are all right that we put out yesterday. Just a few stragglers that we're going to have to push down to the feed. They're the ones we put out yesterday, the ones that we put out the day before. They've got the gist, they know where the food is. How are we doing this morning? Yep, you're all good. All looking good. Another glorious day after all that rain, which is absolutely incredible. And that also means now I am going to go down and check the fields that these should be on to see how the floods have improved. Fingers crossed the water's uh, disappearing. But yeah, guys, if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I hope you enjoy today's video. I know this is the lamb in vlogs, but quick check of last year's ewe lambs. First stop, the field that we turned them out onto last year, I think, yeah. This, it was underwater a week ago and it's still... There is drier bits, but they're still squelching. Of, I don't know if it's quite ready for sheep. See all across there, don't know how well you can see. Um, field next door flooded and it's actually pushed the fence over there too which is not ideal um, likely thing is they're gonna have to go the next field along now this is looking a bit more positive obviously this field is a little bit higher than the rest um, there are a couple of line bits of water over there but overall there's a nice there's a nice bite of grass and we're now gonna have five days of good weather so I think we'll probably put Today's using lambs behind the house. Then from then onwards, I think we'll come down here tomorrow. All right, so first look at the lambing shed now. I know you'll all want to know how she's getting on. So the ewe that I stitched up last night with the lamb here doing really, really well. We need to touch some wood for that because, yeah, don't want to attempt any fate. But yeah, really happy how she's getting on. Obviously, we had antibiotics and anti-inflammatories. Uh, to keep feeling all right and um, we just have to keep close iron herd and obviously last night we had quite a lot of lamb um, the pens are starting to fill back up even though we were pretty much had loads of space yesterday so that is lambs looking well we're going to get a few more out today we're going to put five behind the house like i said and then we're going to start heading down the road to that bigger field with plenty of grass and not too much water but um this morning they've just lambed a single where is that single single just down here and um, doing well that looks a bit better than the ones that came out yesterday that were too big that's more like they should do um yeah lambs looking happy and healthy so i'll just introduce you to our helpers for today me and sky are about to go and help to back all the beef lock and we got james and a couple of new people that you haven't seen before um helping him out He's a professional now. So these are our two helpers today. Do you want to introduce yourselves? Uh, I'm Georgia. I'm Katie. And these two are actually from my old young farmers clubs. That's not how I know them properly. <laughs> but uh, Georgia, your family have a YouTube channel too, don't uh, yeah, they? Yeah, back to the good life. And they're literally just down the road there. They took off me this year. Up you go. Good girl, a new and improved truck. Good girl, you ready? Deadly just walking these sheep in. We don't want to be pushing them too hard. They're just four weeks away from lambing this batch now. So yeah, we've got Josie, but we're not working them hard at all because yeah, you don't push stuff that's head heavily pregnant. Lie down, lie down. Down, Josie.
if you haven't noticed already too. Just look, the truck's fixed. New top, no dents. Please don't take bets when it's gonna have the first new dent. Right, so Hectovac P, it's a clostridial vaccine. So basically, all the diseases that a lamb can get at a young age, we're now vaccinating the ewes against that. So we're in their colostrum, it's naturally passed on to the lamb. So it's really simple, one injection each, not a big job at all. And as I before, this is the B flocks of these lamb a month after. These are all our commercial use. So if you look across here, the sky just pans across. They're probably not as fancy looking. There's some crossbreds in there, as you can see across there. They're basically, they're the lesser performing sheep on the farm. I'm getting stuck on there. And they're all crossed to a Suffolk, a New Zealand Suffolk, and an Aberblack. So that's what we're expecting out of these. Right, let's crack on. Get these all done. One. Done. Someone left a uh, good injector at home, so we're just on this one for today, but it'll do the job. Yes. Good girls, good girls. You tell the ones that don't like needles when you do it like this. Barbie update, as you see, she is having triplets and uh, yeah, she's looking big. And her daughter that came through in the last batch is also having triplets, so I reckon you've got the multiple gene, definitely. And just like that, that is a hundred years of vaccinated. They didn't take us much longer than an hour. Back to the sheep shed, Let's see how they're getting on. They're growing strong, aren't they? Yeah. Into the daily routine now. So that is another set of six lambs scanned into the system. So they're going to go out behind the house. And then from tomorrow onwards, as I said earlier, we are going to pop some down at those meadows. And it's actually quite nice because it's probably better to keep them in smaller groups of 30 rather than lumping 150 in a field because they don't get mixed up as much. Um, right, all I need now is a livestock trailer and we'll go. Right, we're gonna go. Oh, she's off, she's off. Using lambs loaded, as you can see, we have the lambs at the front, used at the back, that is just so they don't get crushed. Just look at the difference in size of these two. That is an actual pair of twins. I wonder who got all of mummy's nutrients. Evening feeding time once again. I'm just having a little bit of a count upon their bums to see how many have yellow bums and left to lamb. There's four twins, two triplets slash quads. We're basically trying to predict how many are gonna land tomorrow to get a plan to go because this evening tomorrow is the last day of yellow and then we go into the red bums. Eight singles, two. So that's 14 to land in the next day or so and then we'll be into the reds. Mate, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're not meant to be there. Your adopted mum loves you, at least. Oh no, that's the triplet that we've adopted one. 
Right, we're still on with treating this ewe with a bad quarter. It gets to a point where as long as it's okay, it might still be hard but not functional. But we just don't want it to be infecting her manky and bad. She's a bit wild. I'll put it that way. She knows what an injection is now. It's an evening for catching up, so now we've got a lamp here that I said about before. It's got entropium. See, its waters are, its eyes are watering there and there. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it a little bit of an injection into its eyelids, so it puffs out and it's not going to be affected anymore. Just goes through. Oh yeah. Just go through the eye. Do you see how that's swollen his eyes up? Okay. Just like that, it's a bit puffed out. So now what we do is put a little bit of cream in its eye to stop it rubbing. Just like that. Well, it is meant to be a lambing vlogs, guys, but today I haven't actually had to lamb anything myself. But we finished doing our evening lash checks before I have a little bit of a nap. And one of the singles has an absolutely belting, is it a tuck plan? I think it's another big ewe lamb. Keep getting big ewe lambs. So guys, just have a look. Absolute cracker of a lamb. Absolute cracker of a day. We've got on with a lot. Um, and the ewes user, are getting on with it. The next week is going to be the busiest week of lambing. So be sure to stay tuned. Um, because, yeah, it's going to be a mental one. Massive thank you for watching, guys. And I really appreciate all the continued support from you all and all of the sponsors. I won't be able to do it without all of you. So thank you. And yeah, please do subscribe.